I need my notes. Oh my God, we're recording, you know. Well, I can't help that point. You want me to tell everybody the wrong dates? No. Okay. Well, kind of. All right. Are you ready? No. God, she's so pushy. <laughs> Okay. And action. And action. So, aprons. New aprons. New. Neutral colored aprons. Peacock stuff. Peacock Very stuff. Exciting. Glitter. Glitter. It is sparkly. And some place here. Elizabeth's signature. My signature. So, a little piece of art that you can wear. We have 25 of these. Just like the last time, we're going to give you an opportunity to win one. A qualifying order is one where you spend $50 or more on products other than gift certificates. The period where you can submit that order to qualify, checking my notes, begins Sunday, April 30th and ends at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, May 7th. So any order that you submit during that period of time that includes at least $50 or more of those products that I just mentioned or excluding the gift certificates, that order automatically gets entered into the bucket that we'll draw from when we choose the winners. 25 will draw them at random. At random. At random. And they, uh, so each of the aprons are hand stamped and hand embellished with glitter glue by me and signed. So like Barb said, they're each a little piece of artwork. Um, they took me forever to make, but um, I think they're gonna be super extra special because they're done by hand. Absolutely. And you're not gonna get that at Bed Bath & Beyond. No, maybe <laughs> in the beyond part. Maybe. 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 So now I'm going to show you how I did this. Why not, right? Right, absolutely. So you could maybe make your own, but you can't sign my name. You have to sign your own name, right? Indeed, absolutely. Okay. There'll be none of that messing around. No shenanigans. That's right, no shenanigans. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, go. let's go. All right. So for this project, I am using some fun, shimmer paint colors from Dilusions and they're fantastic because they stay, they apply thin, they stay flexible, they work as a fabric paint, they're not going to wash out, they're acrylic, they're vibrant, and who doesn't love a little shimmer? The other um, product that I'm using is Stickles Glitter Gel in the squeeze top tubes. Um, that's going to allow me to add some fine line glitter that's encapsulated in glue. So no mess, no fuss, easy application. And then lastly, I'm signing the aprons with my Posca teal pen in a PC5M bullet point. So these are the products that I'm using to create, uh, to work on fabric. And I'm going to be creating an apron, the pocket apron but you can also do them on your jeans, uh, the bottom of denim jeans, uh, on a skirt, on uh, any kind of fabric you can think about. So uh, the foam stamps and the Delusions paint and the Stickles and the Posca all work great on fabric. They're permanent, fade proof, and they're a lot of fun to play with. Okay, so I have set myself out three piles of paint to go with three different peacock foam stamps. The first color up at the top is Calypso Teal. That's a very light, shimmery, pale blue. The next one down here to the left is a nice, rich, shimmery blue, and that's called London Blue. And over here on the right lower side is a really nice green that is called Polished Jade. So those are the three colors with three foam stamps that I'm going to use to create my apron. So when you spread out the paint on the gel plate, and that's where I am on the gel plate, I'm using either the brayer or the palette knife, you want to put a pile of paint that is thicker than what you would normally use to gel print. So you wanna put out a liberal pile so that the foam stamps get really good coverage. And also I'm keeping the foam stamps face down in the paint so that they don't dry, so that the surface, so the foam, the um, paint does not dry on the surface of the foam. You don't want to let acrylic paint dry and crust the surface of your foam stamps. It will it will make them um, lousy uh, for stamping in the future because you'll have a crust of acrylic on the 
on the surface. So you don't want to let the paint dry on the surface. So I'm putting them face down in the paint right now so they stay wet. Um, when you're using them, you can either do this, you can put them in a basin of warm soapy water, you can put them face down on a pile of wet paper towels, just something to make sure, make sure the surface with the paint stays moist until you can wash it. So I'm going to use each one of these stamps in the colors that I've laid out, so I'm going to leave them in the paint because I don't have to clean them to change colors. I'm working on a gel plate, and again, I'm spreading the color in a liberal pile with either the palette knife or a small brayer. So I'm going to slide this off to the side, bring out this really nice quality cotton duck apron. It's got uh, two deep pockets on the front. Let's get the paint out of the way there. We've got two nice deep pockets on the front. We've got adjustable tie straps and a uh, tie neck. And this is a really nice quality apron. I'm really super happy about these. Um, and I'm going to put my stamping on the top so when you wear this apron at a workshop, everyone can see the designs. You could also stamp down on the pockets if you wanted to. You could get super creative and stamp all around the edges. I mean, there's all kinds of different ways that you can use foam stamps on fabric, and you can get real creative with how you apply them and what color combinations and what design combinations. And speaking of designs, I do not remember the names of these designs, so I'm going to put the names of the peacock foam stamps in the expanded information box below the video okay so the first one i'm going to use that beautiful jade green color and i'm going to put this one a little bit left of center and i want to make sure i get good pressure on the outer tips so i get a good contact and i'm working with the apron flat on my desk with my nonstick craft mat and that way I get good contact. Nothing underneath it. Make sure the, um, the uh, ties are not underneath it when you go to stamp it. You want a nice flat surface that's offering some resistance. And then we're going to lift. And look at that beautiful impression of the peacock stamp. You can see how nicely the foam stamps transfer to fabric. So the next one, I'm going to use that really nice London blue and I'm going to tuck this one right up into the curve of the first one so the two of them go together really rather nicely and again I'm applying pressure on the outer edges and the inner so I get a real good impression there and then I'm going to take the line of feather eyes and put that right underneath And there you have it. Three beautiful peacock foam stamp designs that fit nicely together with three beautiful shimmery colors of Dilusion's shimmer paint. And when these dry, I will embellish with the Stickles glitter gel and I will be signing each one of them. Okay, so I have stamped the apron and this is a hand done process. So there are gonna be times when you're gonna miss spots and things are gonna come out lighter or darker. And that's when the difference is when it's done by hand versus machine. But what we can do and to help you feel less intimidated by this process is we can come back in with some Posca pens and fix up areas that we missed. So it's real easy to follow the design where it should have been right here with this paint pen and we can fix up areas that might have gotten missed. So I've got this blue pen for that. I've got a big chisel point light blue but the chisel point is nice because you can go on the edge and get a thin line. And so being able to do this kind of makes it a little less intimidating stamping on your favorite skirt or your favorite pair of jeans, but oftentimes they come out perfect. Um, so I'm just showing you one that was not exactly perfect. So you can see my strategy for fixing it up. So a little Posca marker and following the design based on what's already there. And don't even worry if you don't have exactly the right blue color. This is slightly different blue, but it looks good together with the blue 
from the Dilutions paint. This one will be a little bit more of a challenge, the green for me, because I only have this big giant bullet point in a color that's close. But if I go with a light touch, I think I can achieve a thin line. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. And you might come out with a perfect stamp the first time out. I had several of them that came out perfect, and I have several of them that need to be touched up. But it's all going to add up to that hand-done look. Okay, so the next step is to embellish with the Stickles Glitter Gel. And I've got that in two colors, the... Uh, that teal color, which is, oh, I can't see what it says. I'll list them down below the video. This one is rose gold, and this one is uh, indecipherable to me. So I'll list these colors below the video. But I'm going to kind of squeeze out a little bit of the teal onto any of the colors, and you'll see that it comes out in a nice, real thin line. You could even use the, the glitter gels to fix up your spots that are missing uh, since it's going to add a little bit of glittery goodness to go along with the shimmery paint. And there I can fix up my green lines real nice with this very thin glitter gel. And then I get two effects with one. I get the glittery accents and I can fix up any parts that are missing in my stamp and I have the rose gold I also thought that would look fun so for that one I would put it sort of inside the line maybe it's got some air in it so I'm just gonna shake it down there we go just want to shake it down so you get all the air out of it so you don't get any splatters and for this one I'm adding it not on the lines, but kind of like inside the lines so that the gold doesn't take away the blue. You could also add the green glitter and there's many colors of glitter gel in the squeeze top that might appeal to you. That's fun. And you can do the same with the the teal green down here, you can go inside the lines or you could add lines. And you wanna give this a decent amount of time to dry. The glue comes out kind of in a thick layer and it's gonna take a little while to dry. So set it aside where it won't come in contact with anything for a while. So I've got some real nice glittery goodness added to the paint with the Stickles Glitter Gel. And then I'm gonna sign it with my Posca pen. Hopefully there's something left in this. Because it's one of my favorite colors. So there you go. All right. All right. And we're back. Yes, we are. Um, so you can take the techniques that I used on the aprons with the peacock foam stamps and the stickles glitter gel and the shimmery glittery paint and use it in journals or for collage paper or for card making or all sorts of things. So if you're not in the business of making 25 aprons, you could make 25 cards or 25 sheets of collage paper or whatever you like. The possibilities are endless. We like that. Good. It's good when there's lots of different ways that you can utilize a technique. Absolutely. All right. Well, I think that we should have a beer and sit out in the sun. We should drag these chairs out into the road. <laughs> we can play dodging with the cars. That should be fun. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. All right. All for now. See ya. Bye. Okay. All right, I didn't get up. That's all right. You can just sit there and look cute.